Oh, hello, everybody. This is Santa with Santa Switch Adapted Toys. We've got a request to do some conversions. Uh, several years ago, or a few years ago, I did these little kids' walking pets, uh, kids' collection mini walking pets, and they came in different things. There were dogs and cats, and we've got a couple of them here. Uh, the latest, latest version that's available when you go over to Walmart. These are $5 at Walmart. And when activated, they walk and they make sounds and noises. Okay. And let's see, that was whatever, kitty cat. And this one here, I've taken it apart already because we're going to open it up and adapt it, but it's a dinosaur. I don't know if we can hear the hear that on the microphone or not. Okay, so to, to obviously the first thing you need to do is to skin these animals. And if you're lucky and grab their little battery interrupter that they ship them with, that's, uh, and left that in there, then it wouldn't always be talking to you when you were uh, working on it. But the easiest way to, to uh, get the skin off of here and get the battery the uh, compartment out is to get some slack move let's see i think this leg forward would be good because then you can get some slack and get that fur off expose the legs anyway o open it up and get inside so a little diligence to take care of that Once you get it opened up, you're going to be looking at a body that's got these legs attached. You'll see that the long legs are, let's see, I gotta lock this back on. Long legs are on the front and the shorter leg is on the back. For this description, we're gonna say looking forward, we're gonna take off the legs on the right side, which is held in by two screws. Set those to the side. And then turning it over, the body comes apart. There's four screws in the body. Okay. So we get, get the body opened up. Set that shell to the side. Now we're exposed to the switches. And this is the speaker sitting on the top. And that speaker acts as the switch. It comes down and it hits this switch. Okay, so that's what we need to adapt to. So the first thing you need to figure is where you're going to get access to this with your, let's see, I've got to figure out my drill bits here. Access to this with your uh, cable. And I have found that the easiest place to access it is going to be right, well, let's go ahead and just drill the hole. It's going to be right here at the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to carefully drill through here, not get my fingers and not get any uh, of the wiring bound up. And I've got some mono cables. And the advantage to my mono cables when I adapt is it's only got two cables sticking out of it. And it is not a stereo. So I know that these two are all that's needed to uh, connect in here and adapt this toy. I'm gonna to push this through here. I'm gonna put a strain relief knot. I always put a knot in, it's easier. I've seen people use zip ties. I think that those could potentially fail, but you're not gonna get that knot out of there. Now we have to figure out how far this knot is from the end of our cables because we're going to, let's see if I can pull this down a bit and I want that to stretch up but not be too far. We're going to attach to the two sides of this switch. Okay. So that looks like it's actually enough wire to do it. I'm gonna make sure that knot is really tight because I have just a small space for it to actually go. 
when we close this back up, one of our screws goes right here. See, one of the screws is going to be right there behind where that knot is. So that knot's probably going to end up being up here when we put that back together. All right, if that's the case, I can shorten up the... I'll shorten up the wiring inside a little bit. Kind of minimize how much is going to be impacted inside. Okay. Get my soldering gun warmed up. And where you're going to attach this is... These two contact points right here. The one's closest to you. Now, let's see. Right now, oh, that's the battery. I'm sorry, never mind. So this white wire is kind of in the way. Uh, you got to miss that. But we're going to attach to this post and this post on this side of the switch. And we can confirm that's going to work by shorting out across those two posts. Right. Here we go, let's try this. Okay, so by shorting across those two posts, it activates the toy. Another way of doing that would be if you're adapting toys, I'm sure you make up jumpers or should have jumper. So here's a jumper wire and we're going to put these in close proximity so that they activate those two contacts. Now, you, you can't see this on camera because I've got too many things going on here in the way, but um, th those are the points for, for soldering. I'm going to set this on here, get some solder iron going. Uh, it's heated up. And I'm going to attach one wire to the right side. And the other wire to the left side. The tools that I'm using, uh, soldering iron, etc. I will put a link down in the description of what they are. I don't get any um, I don't get any payment for these. It's just that I, I some people ask what what uh, works for you. I do a lot of toys and this works for me. Okay. Okay, so it's adapted. Off camera, I have a switch. We're going to plug that in, and we're going to press the button, and we're going to look look for movement. Okay, and I'm going to press the button off camera, and I don't know if you can hear anything. I'm holding it up to the microphone. But that's how easy it is to adapt this toy. The caution then is to put it back together with that speaker switch that, that the factory has supplied up there. Make sure you don't pinch your cable down here. Uh, you, you could find maybe another place to put it, but when you put the skin back on, this cable still needs to be out that bottom. Okay. Um, we'll set the body back on. It seems to go together. Cable's not pinched and do the reassembly. I don't know that I need to go through all the reassembly. That's something that I'm sure that you'll be able to do, but that's the, that, that's the process, okay? Let's see. The two screws that hold the legs on are shoulder screws. They've got that wider, let's see, I'm gonna, 
Yeah, I'm not sure that's focusing. Anyway, they've got that that washer looking thing around, and so that helps to hold the uh, legs in place. Then turn it over and put the other screws back in. There's four screws here. I must have something for another other toy. Okay. There's there's four. Uh, I don't think these two are supposed to be here. Okay. So that's that's how easy it is to adapt it. And then put the skin back on and you're ready to go. All right. Super. Thank you so much. Uh, subscribe. You'll see the videos when I, I post them out, the new videos. I'll be doing another one here shortly. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. Contact me. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, I, again, uh, I, I do this for the, the the pleasure and assistance of those who, who are trying to help out those people who need them. So Santa here from Santa Switch Adapted Toys. Thank you so much.